but it looks like he's possibly gonna get this drop off if this 88 does not reload in time and it looks like it's gonna go down and it's gonna take out this anti-tank base uh, and an admin as well and a couple of uh, depot trucks uh, that was a pretty successful attack. It looks like he's going to lose a plane, but that was a very successful attack. Well worth it. He needs to actually go across his 88 right now. If he can get across his 88, if he would have pushed across his 88 and bombed the 88 while it was reloading, he could have taken out all of these units. He would have killed his 88 at about, f at least, he would have taken out at least 13 units right here on this side of the field. But he decides not to. Um, Sawcool decides to try and... Uh, rush these two bunkers and take these uh, this Ford HQ out, but uh, two anti-air nests against a, a bomber will pretty much win every time, especially when it has nothing to back it up with. Uh, it looks like Sawcool has a uh, fake fighter bomber, and uh, pretty much right now, uh, the two enemy players, uh, I guess for Team 1, is pretty much just sitting back and waiting for them to attack. Uh, I don't if these are okay these are tanks i was gonna say if those are all bunkers uh wouldn't be a very good investment looks like he's got uh, an aircraft gun a couple panzer threes um that's pretty much it just going for income i don't really understand why you would make uh, a ford hq there i understand it's faster but to spend the forty dollars when the units can pretty much just if you just blitz every time uh there's no real point to get that extra hq behind your base but here comes another attack on this right side it looks like he's got 288s now but 280 or 90s i guess because he's an italian player the 90s the 290s won't really do anything it looks like he's going to attack the just the basic depots or he's going to fly them to the corner of the of the map i don't understand what's going on uh sergeant really needs to start pushing right now he needs to either get a ton of infantry or some tanks or something and start pushing because if he just sits there forever and lets this attack go uh, he will not he will get completely steamrolled if he keeps letting these B-17s uh, just basically fly into his base for free it looks like he's gonna be doing a blitz a blitz attack uh, nope he's not blitz I thought he was it might have ended actually um, and he has no recon uh, like I said recon is the most important thing in this game but he can see the units, I don't, and he's finally going to decide to attack them. But to send four bombers on one thing, I don't understand. He could send one bomber here, two bombers here, and two the other side. He really is just, uh, he got 80, he got 89 points from that, uh, actually 99 points from that. But he could have got a ton more. If he would have bombed, uh, put two bombers on one unit here, and put the other two in the middle here, he could have pretty much destroyed his entire force in a one foul swoop, uh, but he decided not to, and he went with the basic bombing run. It looks like, though, that Sergeant's had enough of this, and he is going to start getting some fighters out on the field. Uh, fighter very good against the bomber. If he gets advanced fighters, it actually helps his cause more because he'd be able to get those uh, bombers down faster. Uh, looks like there's a parent uh, paradrop possibly because due to the fact that they're on the field so quickly are they no heavy infantry it looks like he just straight up ruse pushed um, but this attack won't be successful he'll be able to steal this depot back uh, right away and pretty much kill his infantry uh, he already has his own heavy infantry uh, so he is in very good shape he does not look like he's in trouble over here on this left side um, I don't I just I don't like the fact that he just has flak and some tanks uh being a german player especially against an american who is just turtling uh you really can destroy an american turtle turtle player uh, especially with the germans because you have that tank distance uh and you have uh those strum tigers those strum tigers and if he would have made some strum tigers and some tiger tanks right now uh, especially because he has the armor base. He doesn't even have an artillery base. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, actually, does he have artillery base because he has 88 out there. My bad. Uh, if he researched some Strum Tigers, especially when he has one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight depots. He has eight depots right now. He uh, Nine, actually, if you count this depot, but it, I wouldn't count it as a depot. He has eight depots right now, plus his uh, teammates, one, two, three, about to be four, about to be five, possibly, unless this is going to be something else. No, it's going to be a depot. So, uh, the fact that he has so much income probably rolling in right now, his macro game uh, should be better than this. 
if he would pump out some strum tigers right now and uh, some tiger tanks uh, he would be crushing uh, Presnell right now. Presnell only has wooded AT and uh, a few heavy infantry. If he would have got about four or five Strom Tigers uh, and Tiger tanks, uh, Presnell would be pretty much be GG by now. He'd be able to assault, and it obviously needs recon, but he'd be able to assault all of this. All he needs to do is get one recon plane. Uh, and he's pretty much he's pretty much in perfect condition. If he gets one recon plane, uh, he would easily be able to uh, just bomb, constantly bomb uh, this uh, his enemy. But he's going for a light bomber instead. I don't know if he sees. He does not see that unit. No, he does not see the unit. Uh, like I said, he's just basically wasting a bombing run on basic units. Um, he decides to get Panzer IVs out again. It's 14 minutes into this game. I believe this game uh, clock was 40 minutes. I have no idea though. Maybe I can change it. Uh, no, I cannot. Uh, he's pretty much just spending money on worthless units at this point. Uh, Panzer IVs, not the best unit, especially 14 minutes in. He should be having. Uh, see, at least uh, MCM is has those advanced units. He has those Pershings out. At least he's doing something. Um, at least doing something positive and in, in actually in his macro game he's spending the money on getting the better units um, but unless this uh, he needs to yes he's actually doing it finally what I what I recommended the first time he's going for individual bombing on each target so he's sending one in he's gonna be sacrificing that already but he needs to take these other bombers and he needs to start pushing them at different sides of the map which he is he, he is doing see as you can see he finally does what I was hoping he would do all along he is sending each bomber to different sections of the base uh, to bomb a complete carpet across different areas. He only lost a couple bombers, but the, due to the fact that he lost those bombers, he has now cleared out tons and tons of AT. He has one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pershings rolling in right now with armored recon. Um, he only has this. The player only has two a AAs or two uh, 90s and he has a few uh, basic AT coming in right now but unless these are fighter bombers he is going to be in some trouble no basic fighters so right now he is in big big trouble if he pushes right now especially fanaticisms he will win this battle hands down uh, these basic anti-tank guns cannot outrange uh, these Pershing these Pershings have a huge range advantage against these AT as you see they just one shot at a light tank there as you see they're just uh, pretty much two shotting three shotting these basic ATs and if he finances them especially right now he will win this game or win this uh, side for his team and pretty much win the game due to the fact that uh, Presnell's not really doing much he's just pretty much just sitting there banking his resources spending all of his hard-earned money on basic just basic nests and he I guess he doesn't realize that a uh, basic anti-tank bunker will do absolutely zero uh, against a purging tank uh, the purging tank will probably much one or two shot it and then he'll just get steamrolled in the center uh, especially he made the deep he made all these uh, defenses uh, especially when there's no there's no income coming in from this side again no point to make these defenses uh, he has two admins, at least he's adminning up and spending that money on something. Uh, looks like he still has, they still have resources in the middle here, and he just got these two fresh depots, so he should be okay. Um, it looks like MCM will push in and uh, get this win, he will. Sergeant's going to surrender. I would actually assume that uh, Presnell's going to surrender as well. He has really much, no he pretty much nothing to defend this attack with. Uh, all these Pershings will pretty much uh, walk in and steamroll the, all these defenses right here and uh, by the time he gets over to the side of the base um, Sawcool can start pushing in as well and just the sandwich alone will especially if they have recon uh, to help them out as he's finally getting some armor recon uh, will pretty much just uh, 2v1 this opponent especially with his uh, B-17s if he keeps making some more of them and it will be a GG I don't understand why he's just leaving the HQ alone. I guess he decides he wants to leave this HQ alone. Oh, he can do whatever he 